How are you, Henry? Greetings. What do you need? I've got that necklace. Excellent news. I'm not going to ask you how you did it. Here's a reward for you. Now you can carry on with your next task. I want you to sneak the jewellery into Carolina's trunk along with this letter. Can't I just hand them to her? You cannot. Under no circumstances must she find out who sent them. Otherwise the whole secret admirer ploy is fucked. Oh. By the way, Henry, watch out for the butcher. He keeps a very close eye on his daughter, and if he catches you sniffing around, well, may all the saints preserve you. Once you've delivered the things, wait a day, and then come back and see me. Good luck, then. Only bandits creep around in the dark without a light. Where's your torch?
What's going on there? What's that? Good day, Henry.
God save you, Henry. Greetings. What do you need? I delivered the things as you asked. I already know. My spies told me everything. She was wearing the necklace this morning as I asked in the letter. So you'll go to the rendezvous with her? Certainly not. I'm not going to pounce on her like a bull in rutting season. Her feelings must be allowed to mature gradually. Meanwhile, you'll get a potion for me. I thought you didn't believe in witches' brews. This is no witch's brew, it's an absolutely tried and tested elixir called Musk of Infinite Allure. There's a fellow in Sassau who sells it and he guarantees its success. Musk of Infinite Allure? <laughs> Sounds irresistible. All right, I'll try and get it for you. I'm sure I can rely on you. Here's some coin for your cost. Take care. Manhood been wilting of late. Then buy this powder made of a unicorn's horn. What are you loitering here for? Get lost! Well, well, who have we here? Ah, the prodigal son returns! I knew you'd come back to me one day. Mm, let me guess, you saw it in a dream? I knew you were going to say that. But I had a divine revelation. That next time I won't be around to pull you out of the shit. Oh, well, uh, I am sorry, uh, but these things are sent to try our fortitude in the face of adversity. I'd like to try your fortitude. I've heard you know of some irresistibility potion or whatever it is. Oh, naturally, musk of infinite allure, an age-old recipe, maybe even older, tested by Moses himself. Moses? Well, how do you think he managed to get his people to follow him through the desert for 40 years? It's extremely potent. Yeah, so it would seem. How much do you want for it? Who do you take me for? The wisdom of the ancients isn't something that's bought and sold in the marketplace. Did Jesus charge for his miracles? But since you ask, how about this much? What? That much? You're a crook. As King Solomon said, uh, honesty is for those who can afford it. I if you'd like, I can mix the elixir for you in exchange for a small favor. Oh, not again. Now, is that any tone to use with your master? For shame. Apologies, master. I was carried away by my thirst for knowledge. I understand your impatience. But the way to wisdom is narrow and arduous. And leads out the window. So what is it you want from me now? Ah, oh, my dear apprentice, everything's gone to the devil. 
I'm living from hand to mouth, sleeping on straw. And the local peasants won't buy from me. They say they don't trust me, as if I were some kind of charlatan. Can you believe it? Does this look to you like the face of a swindler? I'm an honest trader in sacred goods, whose only concern is the welfare of troubled souls. And any time now the slanderous gossip will spread here from Sasau. I should leave before things get worse. But I can't go anywhere until I've made a bit of coin. So what's needed is to give the locals a bit of encouragement to open their hearts and purses. I'm not going to go around beating people for you. What do you take me for? I, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Violence is for the dull-witted. We must gently demonstrate to them the necessity of buying my remedies. For example, to ward off a revenant. Revenant? What revenant? The dead return from the grave. A corpse that the soul is unable to depart from which wanders among the living, filled with rage at its wretched fate. Yeah, I saw something like that once, but it was just some drunk going home from the tavern after losing all his money at dice. Don't make light of such things. Now tell me, do you know how to deal with a revenant? Uh, set fire to it and piss on it? You're not taking this seriously at all, are you? You are my trained apprentice, but the ignorant villager is entirely at a loss how to deal with such dark forces. It is our sacred duty to prepare them for such threats. And how do you propose to do that? Well, they're all doubting Thomases. They need proof. We'll need a grave, an empty grave that we can use. There's one along the way to Sasau... But it's got one minor shortcoming. What's that? Well, it's not uh, entirely empty. Not entirely? What does that mean? You have to dig it up first. Why this particular grave? The locals don't like to talk about it, so... It's surely got some sinister past behind it, and... In places like that, revenants sprout up like mushrooms after rain. Well, if that's how it is, we could open all wounds. That could easily set people against us. Again. Then it would be best if no one could connect us to it, wouldn't it? I'll need a spade, then. Yes. Dig it up and remove the remains, leaving no trace. And what am I to do with the remains? Keep them. Human remains are always handy to have around. Oh, great. And how do we spread the word of this revenant? There's a gossip in every village. Here, too. A woman who'll spread news quicker than a dozen messengers on the fastest steeds. And what am I to tell this gossip? All you have to do is casually mention the empty grave and... Before evening, I'll wager the whole village will know about it. Where does this woman live? The last house on the left, on the road to Sasau. She was the first person I met here, and by the time I reached the village green, I already had a mob looking suspiciously at me. The rumor-mongering fishwife. And that's all? Not quite. You should ask her who was buried there. So we've got a story to work with. So, dig up the grave, talk to the gossip. And the remains. Uh, don't forget to remove them. Otherwise, no one will believe in the revenant. I might have known any task for Capon would turn into some insane escapade. Grave robbing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>